moon. Now we're looking towards landing on Mars. That's right. Astronomer Gary Becker, you're a professor at Moravian. Thank you for joining us here. And you're also part of the Mars Society. So That's you're correct. really looking to wanting to colonize and terraform Mars. Why is that such an interest for you? Well, there are, there are a number of reasons. First of all, human beings just like to explore. I mean, look at how kids explore when they're one and two and three years old. But I think the other thing that it, it's really important is that since World War II, we've had the ability to self-exterminate the human species. And going to Mars and setting up colonies on other worlds is a way of preserving humankind uh, into the future. So I think that in itself, uh, plus, let's say we don't do that, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm an optimist that we won't do that because if I was, I, I wouldn't be here this morning. But um, just the, the spin-offs, okay, of, of the space program uh, revolutionized America technologically. And so that would probably occur again, okay, if we went to Mars, because we would have to invent new ways of doing things. And that would have spin-offs on humanity as a whole. For, so let's say you were to settle on Mars tomorrow. What are some of the things that you would have to prepare yourself for? What would be the biggest changes living there as opposed to living here? <laughs> well, first of all, uh, let's, let's just back off a little bit. First of all, just getting to Mars is a hassle in itself. But I think, I think one of the... Just a bit. <laughs> but it's, it's not, as, it's not as, as difficult as one might think. I think the problems are more psychological. You're going to have a group of people living in incredibly small quarters and tight quarters. Uh, you're going to have um, uh, resupply missions, which hopefully will be successful. If they aren't, uh, that will certainly cause uh, problems. But I, th I think the, the psychological aspect, all right, of let's say that sending four to six astronauts on a mission to the planet Mars, um, which will take about nine months, living in a very small room. I mean, a room that would be, uh, this room would be gigantic, okay, compared to the size of the capsule that would take uh, astronauts to the planet. You know, um, but are you encouraged by what you've been hearing? You know, now with this 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 and the moon landing, you know, there's this talk about them about this uh, space station being built that almost be a launching pad right, they, to yeah, Mars. Right. You know, you mentioned 2033 is kind of like a tentative date. So, I mean, are you encouraged by kind of what you've seen over the past uh, couple years, months? Well, let's put it this way. I'm certainly supportive, all right? Um, NASA has a problem of always delaying, okay, and backing up. I mean, the James Webb telescope should have been, that that's the, the newest telescope, okay, which will replace Hubble, should have been in operation in 2017. We're now looking at more like 2021, 2022. So 2033 is a goal, but it isn't the kind of goal that Kennedy set uh, in his 1961 speech to Congress. Mm -hmm. So it's a flexible goal based upon the amount of funding which NASA is, uh, is getting from the government. Do you think the commercialization of space, I asked this to an astronaut we had on earlier, is that, what, will that aid going to Mars or does that hinder going to Mars? Okay, will you tell me what he said afterwards? <laughs> yeah, afterwards. Okay. Um, I think it's going to aid, all right? I, I think the whole uh, concept of, 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 let's say, SpaceX, okay, is really very positive. Elon Musk wants to die on the planet Mars. That's, that's his goal. And um, right now he's doing a really wonderful job of, of attaining that particular goal. Um, I, let me just preface that he wants to die as an old man on the planet Mars, not in a crash landing on the planet Mars. But, but he, wants to, he wants to eventually live on the planet Mars. And I think he has a very, very good chance of attaining that particular goal. Now keep in mind SpaceX and NASA and the 20 other space agencies scattered around the world are all in very, very very good cooperation. So the, um, the, the space portal, so to speak, the space station around the moon is something that is supported by all uh, space agencies. I so it has to be a worldwide oh, initiative? Oh, yeah. You, uh, okay. Yes, we're, we're to the point at, at this era that uh, space is, uh, the colonization of space, the exploration of space is incredibly expensive. And so the amount of money that we are going to have to put into um, that type of exploration needs a multinational uh, front in order to be successful. Well, Gary Becker, thank you so much for you joining us. Really welcome. appreciate it. We'll uh -huh. see you on Mars. <laughs> and we'll see you when we get right back.